much, Steve. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for being with us. I see some familiar faces here. Some of you uh, have visited the school more than once in the long admissions process. I'm happy to see you again. For those of you I haven't met, I look forward to talking to you over the next uh, day and a half. Um, I will uh, speak uh, tomorrow um, about the, um, the uh, school in some more detail. But um, I just wanted to say a few preliminary remarks first. Some of you who are here have decided already to come to CUNY Graduate School of Journalism. And I thank you very much for your confidence in us. Uh, and some of you are uh, deciding what to do. And we want to be able to provide you with enough information to make the right decision for you. Uh, obviously, we think this is a good fit for you. Otherwise, we wouldn't have accepted you to the school. But this is your decision. So please feel free to ask any questions of any of us, uh, current students, alums, faculty, uh, as well as Steve Darty's uh, staff. Um, I wanted to say just a few words about the profession of journalism at this critical moment. Now, it's no secret to any of you that this is a tough time. Um, journalism uh, is in the midst of a very, very difficult uh, transition to this new digital age. Uh, and hardly a day goes by when you don't read stories in the paper about some new layoffs or buyouts or um, uh, declines in revenue or declines in stock prices. Uh, and there are even stories about, you know, how are we going to make money uh, in this profession in even the new online digital world? In other words, what is the proper business model uh, going forward for journalism? Um, but I, so it's a tough time, but I think this is actually um, a terrific time to go to a graduate school of journalism. Now, why do I say this? Well, there are really several reasons, but the most important is that you have a chance to be part of the revolution, to be on the cutting edge, to play a role in reimagining what journalism can be in this new digital era. And you know, for the first time, I was thinking about this in a long time, probably since the advent of uh, broadcast news, um, there's really something new to, to learn uh, that people in the profession don't really know very well. Uh, and that is uh, all the new technologies of the digital age. Now, I want to emphasize that if you come here, you will gain all the skills, all the eternal verities that you need uh, to practice any kind of journalism. And I'm talking about the reporting, the writing, the critical thinking to do good journalism regardless of the media format and regardless of what the future holds. Um, and if some of you want to be long form magazine writers for the New Yorker or the Atlantic Monthly, God bless you. We have a lot of nice courses uh, that help you to realize that goal. We have strong faculty in that area. Uh, and. Um, it would be wonderful uh, for us to uh, help you reach those goals. But in addition, you will be prepared, all of you, regardless of what your ultimate career goal is, to do audio, video, interactive websites, blogs, podcasts, you name it. And it is that combination of skills, the traditional skills and the new media skills, that, are, that is making our students so desirable in the job market, as Ellen Walterscheid will uh, talk about in just a couple of minutes. Um, that's very critical. You know, this is not an either or situation in terms of old media versus new media. And we reject that kind of thinking. We think it, it is uh, the best of both worlds uh, that is going to happen, and, uh, and that's what we're going to prepare you to do. Let me just say one more thing uh, before turning over to Ellen, and that is that uh, if you come here, you will be part of a very small, almost intimate community. I guarantee you, you will make friends that will last a lifetime. You will be mentored and trained by all of us on the faculty. You'll get internships and be paid for them. And finally, we will use our connections in the profession to help you land that critical first job. Um, again, I look forward to talking to you over the next day and a half. And let me just bring on Ellen Walterscheid. Ellen, is the Director of Career Services, which means that uh, she handles the internship program and uh, job placement. 
Uh, Ellen was really one of the first people that I hired a year before the school, a uh, year and a half before the school opened. Uh, and I did that because I felt it was very, very important to hire somebody who is especially uh, strong uh, in, in this area because it's, it's a difficult time in profession and everybody coming out of a professional school wants to get a job. Um, and so um, I was really very, very fortunate. We were very fortunate to get Ellen to, to come to the school as a startup. So um, Ellen, come on and uh, thank you very much. <laughs>